Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. A um, couple reveals. They happened almost instantaneously um, on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, Skellige. I thought Monsters was today, but it's Skellige. Um, the art on this one is incredible. And the other one seems so-so. But I, I, I just read over them quickly. Um, and I'm going to read them now. Um, Let's go over the legendary first because this card looks so good. Um, for a Skellige card, it's just crazy. Like normally Skellige's got just, you know, the the peoples, but this thing is crazy looking. Um, so let's take a look at it uh, here. It's the, uh, oh, that's the other one. Uh, Melusine, Melusine. It's, it looks like a, uh, one of the harpies, not harpies, but the things that uh, patricidal spawns, but like the mother of them, she's like sitting on a crown, like, or a throne. She's a seven for ten beast. Veil, so you can't poison her, or lock her. Order, spawn rain on an enemy row for two turns, then damage self by two. At the end of your turn, damage adjacent units by one, then gain one base power for every unit damaged. If any unit damaged was a cultist, refresh Malusine's order. So you want to get a cultist pocket on this one? That seems doable. I mean, I guess you would play the Svalblood Priest and... the Svalblood Cultist at the end of every turn heal the unit to the left so you get this pocket going maybe this gets like a provision buff to like six the Svalblood Cultist and the Priest and you put that in between it seems pretty doable it seems like too uh, the healing abilities are going to be kind of key I didn't know Hammond was a cultist. It seems, I mean, it's got a decent body on it. It's orders. Orders are always awkward. Um, I guess you could buff it up with, but then you're not, well, yeah, I guess you could buff it up with the, the Shroom Leader, but then it plays in a Tall Punish. Um, I wish it was a... I wish it was a cultist so it would proc the scenario. This thing's awesome though. I love this art. It's so good. The premium is going to be sick. I mean just sick on this one. Let me know what you guys think. You guys have had a lot of good interactions in the in the chat. I really appreciate that man. Because I learn stuff when you guys comment on it. Like, um, I don't ever like take it as like oh you're you know dumb. But. I just I like to learn things and if somebody could tell me something I I greatly appreciate it but this one seems pretty good um, it's an engine that feeds another engine that feeds another engine so it's idiot beast boat I guess <laughs> I like it a lot I like this a lot it seems like it's it's slow but I think in a bleeding round with some healing this thing can go off for a lot man the rain on it is gonna be stupid just stupid uh let's check out the other one this uh art was revealed a while ago on one of the opens uh as like a leak or whatever or, or no it was uh during the stream for uh pride month that's what it was i believe uh, but this one is the Hermit. This one was... Oh, the last one was revealed by Max Treme. She always does uh, really good content. And she's always in the um, Christmas video that I try to make every year. Um, I, I want to try and do something different this year. Um, make it maybe a little bit shorter. But somehow get everybody involved. Um, but uh, this one, it's uh, the Hermit. It's a 4 for 7 deploy... Damage self by four, berserk six, 
at the end of your turn damage the unit to the right by one and heal self by two um I guess maybe you I, I don't I don't see this being a portal option deploy and damage self by six berserk six at the end of your turn damage the unit to the right by one then heal self by two so I guess you could play it next to the boats the What's it called? I can't type for some reason. You know which ones I'm talking about with the two armor that you normally place next to the small blood priest. But um, this one, it's once again, it's it's component pieces. You know, you're setting up. You need this to this to this, and if you don't have those blocks, it doesn't work optimal. So, I don't know about this one. The other one, though, seems pretty good. Especially if you can get a priest down. Or, I'm, I guess you could even put the cultist to the right of that uh, that other one. And it would still work. You could even go... I guess you're just going to have this, like, Congo line of just damage, heal, damage, heal, damage, heal. Um, but once again, the drill just nukes all this. Like... I mean, granted, this one's Berserk 6, but even still, it's just, like, all this stuff just dies to Drill. As long as Drill is in the game, I just think that it's... These, these type of decks, they're never going to live. It's just, you instantly lose. They bleed you, they get all your stuff out that's slow, and then what do you have for an end game? Hopefully a, a totem. <laughs> I don't know. I I like it, but I I just it it just feels really slow. It just feels really slow. Um uh, a couple more tomorrow. I'll try to get a video out on them. Um tomorrow's video for the like deck and stuff, it's from the stream where we did um uh Redea NR uh with uh Varaxis. I had a lot of fun with that deck. Um, so that's uh, the video for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.